Hello and welcome to the first guide on my channel. In this guide we are talking about the arrow guard. We will start with the arrow guard skills, then the pulse which you should choose, then the skills and pulse that I choose. We talk about the skill sets, so on which items you should focus, like combo, and then we'll go over to the statues attributes. Let's get right into it. Archer, or the arrow guard, in which I will focus on, will use mostly these skills. In these skills, you see the heal and the shield, they're very important. You will switch them with in every single mode for PvP, PvE, and bosses and lamb. I will show you my presets later. Now we go over to the pelts. So, for the pelts, you can choose them. Remember, these are only if you uh, have good gear. Depending on your gear, you should switch between them, but that's like a guideline for yourself. That's the second page. With advanced belts. Remember, we are blue and Pink lady. Now I go over and show you. So we will start with my abilities. So for the skill set, I choose this one for PvP and PvE. It's not the best, but it works perfectly fine. It's the most convenient for me. This one I use preferably for PvP when I really want to grind PvP. That's my PvE setup. If I fight in the PvE here, if I fight inside here for example against the Cross Abyssal Portal, then I choose this option because it just helps me survive longer. Then I have a setup only for damage, the lamp, and this one is the same as well, but for the blazing cave. So, now we go over to the pelts. For the pelts, I would choose this composition. Because it just gives you attack speed, defense, basic attack damage, ability region, and the rabbit is just good in general. Well, if you don't have the rabbit, you could choose something like the banana for combo, or the Mecha Dragon, the Cactus, the Cat, just anything that suits in your combo in which you have Relax for. So now we go over to Relax. When I play in this composition with the Deer, I mostly choose magic box, because it increases the damage of my deer. Because I play with chicken, I enjoy using the eggshell, because the eggshell gives you a lot of damage bonus on top of it. Then I use the combo mask for more combo rate. For PvE, I use the beast child book. 
20% more damage. And because I have a stun ability, I use the extended stun duration effect. And now, I show you my PvP setup. It's exactly the same, just in a different style. I use the Stone Ride Tomb for my damage, my damage resistance, and all the general. Now we go over to the prayer statue. In the prayer statue, I would focus only on global combo damage. And if you don't get global combo damage, you can go for global attack. But besides that, I won't really focus on anything, just try to go for all of them. And uh, the reason I saved so much is just because I want to reroll them for a video, so look forward to it in the future. Okay, in the tech arc, I would recommend going for the fast, uh, more mining ore, more pickaxe, specialization, and tech research speed, so you can upgrade your whole tree faster. If you're on day 15, you will unlock the salt. And here I would go for combo damage. Health percentage and then I also level crit damage bonus for more damage in general. And yeah, that's what I would recommend going for. And then here we go to the stats, the attribute details. And here focus mostly on combo and crit rate. Your goal is it to get 50% in crit rate and around 80% in combo. If you have these stats, then it's like you're almost maxed. So if you get something like Evasion and Regeneration, and another one with combo or better combo and crit rate, you will switch it against it, even if it has less attack power. Okay, thank you for watching my video. I hope you learned something new. And we'll see us in the next video on my channel. Stay tuned.